All right, we'll start off with some general remarks in the game from Coach Fraser, then open up to questions. I thought uh, Houston came in and, and their game plan was to make it really difficult for us. And playing in the back five, they did a good job of, of taking away a lot of the spaces that we generally want to attack. But I thought our team did a, a really good job of being patient and uh, moving the ball early in the game. And as a result, we were able to create some good chances and obviously score some good goals. Um, and I think that, you know, again, we showed really good character in, in going 0-0 zero, zero in the second half and winning by two goals at home. Uh, nothing is ever perfect, but uh, we're certainly gaining confidence from, from um, creating some of the chances and goals that we did and then being able to see games out last weekend, this week. Look it over to Connor Cape, Altus Sports Radio. Robin, last weekend you have to you have to come back at home, and this weekend you're on the front foot right from the start. Was there anything that you said differently to the team? Anything that you trained differently to to have that mindset to come out and and on the attack? Uh, we've certainly spent a lot of the week looking at video of of last weekend, and <clears throat> it's just clear to all of us that if we're on the front foot, we're a better team, and we saw that at the tail end of the last game. And the mindset going into this game was very good. And I think uh, as a result, we were able to, um, as I said, create some chances and create some opportunities and put them under some pressure. Go to Chase Howell, Denver Post. Hi, Robin. Uh, Yarbo sent a couple long balls over the top to Barrios, not just the one on the goal. Was that part of the game plan to use Barrios' pace to, to try to stretch the defense? Uh, I think that's fairly obvious that that's certainly something that we 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 try to do and we have a real asset in Michael and his speed and um you know certainly that's something that we we look to play whether it's when the runner play or with the ball at Will's feet we certainly try to get Michael into positions where he can be dangerous and it was a fantastic ball by Will um and then the execution by Michael <clears throat> on both goals was excellent. Go to Matt Pollard, last word on soccer. Robin, on that note, we've seen Michael Barrios, you know, get a couple really good looks at goal. He's hit the post a couple times. He's created chances for others. How good or rewarding was it for you and for him seeing him get on the score sheet tonight with two assists? It was great. It was great. Michael's been um, one of our most dangerous players since the first day of preseason. Every time he's playing, Every time he's played, he's created opportunities, whether for himself or for others. Uh, scored a number of goals in preseason, um, had a number of assists. He's involved in a lot of uh, our attacking play for sure, and it's got to be great for him. I'm happy for him that he gets on the score sheet with a couple of assists tonight because uh, consistently he's he's been someone who's created problems for other teams. Back to Connor. Uh, Robin, even when you were up 3-1 and, and Houston was forced to to try to create some offense, to try to chase some goals, they were struggling to get anything going in your defensive third. What were you guys doing so well tonight? I think it's, a, it's just a concerted effort of how we move defensively and try to move together and try to reduce spaces that are <clears throat> available for the other teams to play in. And when we do that, we're, we can be pretty tough to break down, um, but it's really an exercise in concentration. When we do it, we do it pretty well. We'll go to Brian Jennings, Burgundy Wave. Hi, Robin. Hey, thanks. I, I appreciate it. Um, this probably kind of plays off that last question, too, but... Um, you know, like you had said, the Houston was kind of sitting back early on. But how confident were you, you know, that the guys could could watch for those counters, but also even keep the pressure that you talked about that you like to see, um, you know, kind of being kind of wary of that going towards the second half? Yeah, it's um, it's one of those things where obviously you need to be in two minds at one time, which is, how can we continue to apply pressure with the ball, but just make sure our shape behind the attacks are good so that we don't get done by counterattacks. And uh, 
I thought. <clears throat> Danny and Austin and Jack did a good job of, of arranging ourselves behind the ball so that we didn't get done too often on counterattacks. Obviously, uh, the goal we gave up was something that we won't be happy about. Um, we don't want to turn the ball over in the middle of the field and then not be prepared for that sort of action behind. But by and large, we did a decent job with our shape behind the ball. Back to Chase. All three wins have come with Sam Bynes back in the starting 11. Can you describe just how important he is to, to what you guys want to do? Yeah, Bynes, he's, uh, he's become a really important part of the team over the last two years. Uh, he gives us a lot going forward um, in terms of really threatening runs with good timing. And over the last two years, he's become a better defender as well. Uh, his, his game has just matured and he has improved over the last number of years. And uh, what you see now is a player who's very important to us. We'll go back to Matt. Robin, Ali Laraz making his first team debut for the Rapids tonight. Walk me through just the work that he's put in, even going back to preseason, getting signed, and then now, you know, resulting in him getting playing time tonight. Thank you. It actually goes back to about a year ago when Ollie first started training with us. And um, he made an impression pretty quickly within the team. Uh, and the guys have a lot of trust and faith in him. Um, so it was good for him to come in this year as a signed player, uh, start preseason, go through a preseason, go through some of the ups and downs. Uh, he's not played a lot of games in the last number of years. so. Preseason was great for him to have opportunities to play. Uh, and he's just continued to work hard and work well. And he's a talented, talented player. Uh, he can do a lot of things with the ball. <clears throat> and he's got a really good soccer mind. So it was good for him to get on the field today. And he, he certainly did well with the few minutes that he had. We'll go to Ali Dozman, ColoradoRapids.com. for the most goals scored by Rapids homegrown. Can you talk about what you saw from him on the night and what leads to him setting records like that in general? Yeah, Cole was, uh, again, a tremendous amount of energy and work for us, which he, which he always is. What he's done over the last year or so is figure out how to be really effective with that work. Um, he, he gives us so much in terms of, of putting pressure on the ball and making things predictable for the guys behind him. But then on the attacking end, he's in the middle of the field. He's gotten better at, at just continuing the ball moving. As a young player, that's a hard thing to do. But he's gotten much better at being receiving the ball in the middle of the field and, um, and it, it just enabling us to keep plays going. But the part about him that gets the attention is the part that he gets in front of the goal. And he gets in front of the goal a lot. He's constantly looking for it. And, um, you know, the, the goal tonight was obviously a culmination of those two things, his willingness to work defensively and his desire to be in front of the goal. Uh, it was fortuitous for sure, but that doesn't happen if you don't have his kind of mindset. So uh, what you're seeing really, again, is, uh, as I referred to with, with Sam before, is the maturing process of these young players. And uh, Cole is certainly someone who has blossomed in the last year, year and a half, uh, his understanding is getting better. Um, his willingness and desire to get in front of the goal is is really something that drives him. And obviously, we're benefiting from that. Go back to Connor. So Robin, it's three wins in a row. And next up is at LAFC. What's your message to the guys to keep this streak rolling and to stay focused? Uh, stick to the principles, the principles that we've talked about, the principles that we're now executing on uh, and have been for the last number of games. It's going to be stick to the principles. Obviously, LAFC is an excellent team, and that'll be a huge test for us. But uh, it's, it's so much more at this point about us continuing to do the things that we're doing and get better at the things that we're trying to get better at. We'll wrap it up there. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.